today we're going to continue with our series on creating a store with WordPress, WooCommerce, and the Canvas theme. Uh, I'm building a pet store, obviously. You will be building whatever type of store that you want to build. Uh, if you want to follow along building a pet store, you can go grab some images from uh, Google Images on some pets. So first thing we want to do today is, well, there's a, let me just cover what we want to do. We want to get our top navigation menu straightened out. Okay, we're in our back end, and what we want to do, first thing we're going to do is straighten out this menu. I was, said we were going to do it last video, and I completely forgot to do it, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. You see right now, we have a, we created a custom home page, but it also has a home page link, so we got to, we got to take care of that. What we're going to do, we're going to create us a custom menu. We'll go to Parents, Menus, and we're going to create us a top, well, I'm just going to name mine Top Navigation. And we're going to click on Create. And this is going to be the primary menu, which will be the top menu. Well. There's two different menus that come with Canvas. Top menu means all the way pressed to the top. I'm going to leave the one I have where it's at. Primary menus, this one. Top menu would be up here, which you could actually create one like that if you want, like I have at PluginForge.com. But we're going to leave this as primary menu. We're going to save. And we need to add some stuff. So if you look over here on the under pages, we see all the pages that WooCommerce set up plus our custom home page. So let's just go ahead and add all of them in our blog page. So we're just going to add all those to the menu. And we're going to rearrange them. I want the home page to be first. And I want the uh, shop page to be second. Whoops. And my account, checkout, let's put the cart right before checkout. And we'll put the blog on the end. And I'm going to go on home page, and I'm going to give it a navigation label of home instead of home page. So and we're going to save menu. Let's go back and refresh the front. Okay, we now have our menu all straightened out. All right, next thing we want to do is we're going to add us a product. We're going to go to products, add products. So the first product I want to add, I'm going to add a puppy. A key to puppies. And I'm going to give it a description that I already have. And we'll put the description in there. And let's create a heading here for temperament. We'll make that a heading four. We need to first toggle and open our. <clears throat> if you don't see these tools here, go ahead and toggle right there on that little icon, toolbar toggle icon. And we can, and you'll get your tools at that point. So I'm gonna give that a heading three. And let's create a new product category. We'll call this one puppies. And I'm not gonna bother tagging my products. So we, we want to set a feature image. We want to set a product gallery image. We're just going to set a bunch of, we're just going to set general images of Akitas in both of them. So grab my Akita puppy. Where is he at? That one right there. Uh, 
and we're going to fix the title and the alt description. It's very important to have the alt. You don't necessarily need a title. I always like the title because people hover over the image. That's what they see. But the alt's for screen readers. It also makes it uh, web standards compliant to have an alt tag. If you run it through WC3 without an alt tag, you'll get a, a warning. So we're going to go ahead and set that featured image. And let's go ahead and add it to the product galleries too. And let's insert one right into the post because those are the three areas we want to check how the images look on the front end. Whoop. What am I doing? Now I'm going to remove this one from the post after I'm done, but we just want to check and see how it looks. We're going to take a look with our code inspector. And that's as far as we're going to go right now on this. And let's publish and take a look and see what it looks like. Now I'm going to open this up in Chrome because I like the Chrome inspector. Uh, we see here, I can already tell this picture is a little bit distorted. And this picture is a little bit too big. So let's see what we got going on here. This is the featured image. So let's see what it's supposed to look like. What size is it recommended? Uh, we see the div for our image is 412 by 470, but the actual image itself is only 300 by 470. So that our images really need to be, looks like here, 498 by 469. So let's t jot down some notes. Image, uh, featured image. Should be 498. What was that other one? Uh, 498 by 469. So 498 by 469. And let's go take a look at our let's see which one this I think this is the additional product image. Alright. It looks like you know, see how it's clipping off the head because we have the actual image is one eighty by one eighty, but the div forts 153 by 152 so let's uh this will be additional product images needs to be 153 by 152 okay and let's go look in the post. In the post, I believe it's going to be all right, no matter, because we're going to be able to choose sizes. So now we know we should make our featured images at least 498 by 469, and our additional product images need to be 153 by 152. So let's go back into WooCommerce settings. And let's look for products. Display. And single product image, which is basically the featured image. 
we need it to be 498 by 469 so I'm going to just round that to 500 to 470 so we're going to make that 500 by 470 500 by 470 product thumbnails that's the additional product images we're going to make say 154 by 152 and catalog let's go take a look at the catalog let's go look at that is the catalog okay let's go take a look at the actual that's a catalog so inspect element so we're gonna call it rename that catalog image that's catalog images this one here is actually a featured image So let's go take a look at that real quick. Featured image, see 228. By 299. So let's say 228 by 298. And let's go back into settings catalog image this is where that should be I was completely wrong on that so 500 by 470 single product image or the featured image is 228 by 298 by 298 so we'll set that there and then we're gonna have set it where WordPress will make those for us so we don't crop off anything like we did with that puppy. So we're going to go to settings. Media. Oh, sorry about that. Settings, media. Alright, let's make thumbnail sizes. Uh, which would be the product image. It's also the thumbnail. It'd be 153 by 152. So we're going to go uh, 154 by 152. And medium size will be 228 by 298. So we're going to make this square. Let's let's just make this square. Uh, we'll say 298 by 298. And large size will be, let's say, 500 by 500. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete. We're going to go delete these images. Let's go to our products. Edit product. Let's go ahead and edit this product. We're going to delete. And delete that. What did I do? We want to delete this. There we go. And we're going to delete this one. Let me go ahead and update. Here to the media library. And I'm going to delete this one. We're going to test out, make sure WordPress is generating our images correctly. So let's add a new image. So now that we know what our image sizes need to be, we can go ahead and do our Photoshop work. I'm going to go ahead and make some. So as we get going, we can have our images right. So I'll go ahead and prepare the images. Okay, I've created my image. 
and what I did was I made my image size square 800 by 800 pixels I just want to make one size I want any full size image like ones I want to put into the post if I want to select full size I want them to be 800 by 800 pixels we're going to let WordPress and WooCommerce do the rest of the work for all the other sizes. So let's go look at the media library real quick. Let's open this in a new tab here. You'll see I only have one image. That image is 800 by 800. So we have our 800 by 800 image. And so what we want to do is I want to go, I'm going to insert the full size one into my post make sure it's right full size is 800 by 800 there's our other sizes 500 298 and 154 by 154 and so we'll insert that and we're going to set the featured image grab it we don't have to do anything just we're going to let WooCommerce figure it out now that we set all the uh, correct settings in the settings we commerce settings and we're going to do our product additional product thumbnail All right, let's go ahead and update that and let's go to the front end and let's go look at shop and you'll see we have our thumbnail let's click on that we now have a decent featured image, a decent additional product image, and there's our full size image in the description itself that I had put. So now it looks like all of our images are working right, nothing's getting cropped off, and that's the way we want it to work. So that's how you handle the images for WooCommerce. If you need the Canvas theme to, con to follow along with us, you can get one for free using the coupon code I left below in the uh, description of this video. Visit PluginForge.com for really good prices on WooCommerce and WordPress plugins and extensions and themes. You have a good day.